There are less than two months left in the 2012 Card Player Player of the Year race, sponsored by Lot Poker. With the World Series of Poker main event now in the books, the top contenders for the POI title have a clearer picture of what they need to do to win coming down the home stretch. Only time will tell how the final weeks pan out, but in the meantime, let's take a look at how the main runners got to where they are. Greg Merson overtook the lead in the race last week when he won the WSOP main event, topping a field of 6,598 to win more than $8.5 million and 3,300 POI points, the most awarded for any one event this year. Just days before the main event started, Merson took down the $10,000 No Limit Hold'em 6 Max event for more than $1.1 million and 1,800 points. Merson is 2 for 2 in converting final table appearances this year, and with more than $9.6 million in to date earnings and 5,100 points, the Maryland native is the one to cash down the final stretch. Dan Smith held the lead for months, putting together an incredible year on the circuit. He's made 8 final tables, winning 5 titles in total for more than $3.5 million in year to date live earnings. On top of that, he won the Sunday Million in October, making a deal that eventually saw him take more than the allotted first place prize. Smith has two seven-figure scores this year, winning a $100,000 buy-in high roller at the Aussie Millions and the €50,000 high roller at the EPT Barcelona. Kyle Julius has made his way towards the top of the POI list on the back of just a few massive scores. Julius kicked off the year with a runner-up showing in the gigantic PokerStars Caribbean Adventure main event for $1.5 million and 2,000 POI points. He made another small final table appearance before his next key score, another runner-up finish, this time in the massive $5,000 No Limit Hold'em event at the WSOP that drew more than 1,000 people. Julius earned another $590,000 and 1,600 points for that deep run. In 2011, Marvin Rettenmeyer burst onto the live tournament scene, making 12 final tables and finishing the year fourth in the POI rankings. The young German pro has backed up that success with seven more final tables and three titles in 2012 including a win in the 2012 World Poker Tour $25,000 Championship and the WPT Merit Cypress Classic Main Event. 2010 November Niner Joseph Chong has made six final tables this year with to date earnings of $919,347. Incredibly, Chong is the only player currently inside the top 10 without a title in 2012. However, that doesn't mean he is without big scores. He finished fourth in the WSOP Europe main event for $380,000 and also came runner up for a bracelet in the $5,000 mixed max event at the World Series of Poker, earning nearly $300,000. In addition to these top five, there are still plenty of other big names inside the top ten currently, including Poker Hall of Famer Phil Helmuth, Aussie Millions main event winner Oliver Spidell, and two-time Poker Players Championship winner Michael the Grinder Mizraki. Make sure to keep checking back as we bring you coverage of the final stretch in the 2012 Player of the Year race right here on CardPlayer.com.